Houston police tonight are looking for a man who shot a mother, father and their two girls in their apartment. The couple and one of the girls died and the other played dead, then FaceTimed her grandmother after the shooter left. Our Maria Salazar joining us live after speaking with the family Maria. Hi, Caitlin and Rashi. Well, this U-Haul behind me is where the family is currently loading the belongings of their loved ones as they uh, go through this process. And they, I can tell you they're going through so many emotions. They are absolutely heartbroken, as you can imagine, but also very thankful that one of the girls survived. The one-year-old baby that was inside was unharmed, and another sibling, a young boy, was away at another family member's home when this all happened. These are babies, and it, it, it hurts. So why? 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 I, that's what I don't understand. What, they, they didn't do anything. So why would they do that? Ronette Terrell's family is going through the unimaginable, collecting the belongings of their loved ones after a family of four were shot in their apartment. Three of them died. The father, 35-year-old Gregory Carkey, the mother, 29-year-old Danyavia Lagway, and six-year-old Harmony Carkey. The one-year-old was not harmed, their 10 year old daughter was shot in the arm. She waited until he left and pretended that she was dead. And then when he left, she locked the door, grabbed her little brother, called her grandmother. The family says her name is Lyric, a quiet, thoughtful girl. She's so traumatized. She's probably you know, traumatized, she, uh, I'm yeah. sure. I don't know if they. She said he had a mask on just to his nose. It happened around 10 30 Wednesday night at the Toro Place Apartments in Southwest Houston. Police say there weren't signs of forced entry into the apartment, and the shooter got away. My message to him is this those were children, those were kids, those weren't adults. And for you to just sit up there and just shoot a child or shoot children, something is truly wrong. And the thing gets to this is you need to pay the cost. Police say the suspect is a black man in his 20s. Neighbors are heartbroken. I knew the woman, I knew the kids, and like I said, it happened right here. It's sad. Like she just gave my baby's clothes, and she speaks to me every day. The kids always asking to play with my babies. And at last check, the 10 year old girl is still in the hospital. The family says that the bullet is lodged in her elbow. And of course, if you have any information on this case, you can call Crime Stoppers at 713 222 TIPS. Reporting live in Southwest Houston, Maria Salazar, Fox 26 News.